Hi, this is Steve Zara from Zara Dental Lab. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to customize a crown for the Herbst appliance. The first thing you want to do is I'll explain why I'm doing this. The crowns that are pre-attached, that have the assembly already pre-attached, um, similar to a 3M Unitec crown, the mesial portion of the crown is extremely long compared to the distal part. So this part right here, if you could imagine, if this is the gum line, the gum line is going to come through here, and it's going to impinge right here. Now, some doctors, they prefer to actually have it a little bit long so they can push down and seat it. Um, and some doctors, they'll want me to cut this off. They'll write it up on a prescription to remove this distal portion. It, it actually makes the crown a little bit shorter, but it actually has a more of a snug fit. Either way, they're going to fit great. It's all preference, but I'm going to demonstrate on what takes place with each crown. So I'll show you that the portion I'm going to remove, I'm going to mark it in black so you can see. I'm going to take that, that piece off right there because that's the impinging part. Now these crowns have a nice curve on the mesial side of the tooth right here. So I don't have to go really any further. And what I've learned over the years, I'm just going to do one for this demonstration. But what I've learned over the years is that when you cut this off, it becomes very, very sharp. So you need to dull it out. And the key to doing this is to use an e-cutter. And I did this on purpose. Um, I have another YouTube video that will show me. If I have a, a e-cutter, if I can focus on this, that's dirty, I have a tendency when I'm doing this, it's going to slip. So I have a, I have a, a tip in another video that will show you. I'll, I'll put a link to it here to show you how to clean this really fast. I'm just going to do this really fast so you show... So when you're watching my other video, you'll know what I'm talking about on how to clean a burr really fast. Um, for demonstration, this is the... You saw how fast that takes to clean a burr. On this side, you really don't have to do much because the length is about where they want it anyway, and the axle's right there. But you can definitely see that I definitely am contouring the tooth to make it shorter. And to answer anybody's question, yes, this is extremely hot. So you can see the distance on this side is much more longer right here and that's the impingement part by taking this off the impingement part is gone the next uh, procedure is some doctors prefer a split in the crown this way it helps um, removing the crowns when when it comes time to remove the crown from the patient I like to use a diamond cutter because that's the only thing that will actually cut the crown evenly. And it's going to be in the mesial portion of the tooth, in front of the axle. And what I've learned over the years is if you go too far, the crown will could possibly split. If the child's biting down all the forces of the herps, the crown will, if you make the line too far, the slit, as they call it, if you make it too long, it'll start to rip the crown. And you don't want that. So on the mesial portion, you're just going to put a small slit right there. 
where they can grab where the doctor can grab a plier into that slit and tear the crown over to the removal. The hardest part about most doctors complain about herps is the removal portion. So you can see where it's at. That small little slit that I made, it's where they can go in and grab it. Some doctors will say, don't do anything from here, that's actually fine. And the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a, verti a, um, a hole in the top. And here's the other catch. I'm going to put a hole in the top of the crown, which allows two things. It allows the glue that they're um, seating the crown to squeeze through, so then the, the doctor knows, or the assistant knows, that there's enough glue cementing the crown. Um, the second, and then you just wipe it off. The other catch is, if I put the circle in the middle directly, right here, it had, and if this slit, if, I'm sorry, the slit is higher, this is where a tendency to definitely crack the crown. So what I like to do is move the circle a little bit distal, and not mesial or centered. So I'm putting the circle in the crown. I'm going to start in the back. And that's a prepped crown. This way, what that does is a doctor can grab the crown from here and here and rip it. When they're going to rip it across, they're going to catch that. Once you get to that point, it comes right off. So that's a preparation of a stainless steel crown on a herbs appliance with a mesial cut slit for removal and a circular cut in the crown. Now for the lower, I'm going to put the same circle here, but here's the other impingement part on the lower. You want to take off some of the crown length, remove some of the crown length, and also there's a catch. This part right here on the distal part of the tooth for some reason, when the patient goes to seat this area in the, on the distal of the crown, right here, it pinches, and that's where the patient complains, right in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to not only remove a little bit of the curvature of this, the, the length of the crown, I'm going to take away that pinch, make this a little bit shorter. So I'm going to go ahead and remove some of the, the length. It's also very important to wear safety glasses when you're doing this because there's little pieces of metal shearing off. So you can see I shortened the crown just enough to make it not as, as much of a pinch. Not a lot, but just enough. This makes it a more of a custom fit. So when you go to seat the crown, this area right here does not pinch the patient. The next part, I'm going to put another slit in to help with removal. And where do you want to put it is right behind the cantilever bar. But again, you don't want to go too far because you'll, just, you'll um, actually make this a little bit weak. This is a lot of forces go into this part when it's connected. Like uh, the patient's biting down. So as you can see, I just put a small little slit in there, and that's going to help them reach in and grab this cantilever and just pull it right over the crown. Now some doctors, that's all they want, and some doctors want that vertical hole in the top. So again, I'm going to put the vertical hole in the top of the crown.
going to ream it out to get rid of any metal flashing. And that is a custom fitted crown with all the bells and whistles. Thanks for watching this video. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more orthodontic videos like this one.